Get off the street. Quit blocking the traffic. Please. Please. Get the idea, Ed? It's more psychological. Good afternoon. Oh, excuse me. Were you looking for some girls? We certainly were. Well, I know of one. I bet you do, sugar. It's Mr. Cock and Lock, it's daughter. A crab? Oh, she's one of the prettiest girls in town. She works in Rafferty's music store. So long, Trudy. Say the first dance for me, will you? I'll flip you for it. <laughs> Save me the last Come dance. Pardon me, sir. Oh. Hello, Trudy. Oh, hello, Norval. I'd like a package of phonograph needles, please. Three indestructors or 36 ragoons. Oh, it really doesn't matter. Well, I think the indestructors Thank you, are. Trudy. Say, I just passed by the lobby and they got three pretty good pictures playing at the region tonight. And it occurred to me that if you aren't doing anything, considering that I was also free... Well, I'm awfully sorry, Norval, but I wouldn't be able to make it tonight. You see, I promised to go to the dance for the boys that are going away. Oh, for the soldiers. That's right, Norval. I'm awful sorry. You think they'd give a party sometime for those who have to stay behind? They also serve, you know, who only sit and... Well, whatever they do, I forget. I'm sure they do, Norval. I don't get to see you quite as much as I used to. Or as I'd like to, Trudy. I'm awfully sorry, Norval. Naturally, the camps and the canteens and everything take up quite a lot of your spare time. Well, naturally. Why don't you come tonight? The tickets are only 50 cents. Well, it isn't the 50 cents. I just wouldn't feel right not being there in uniform. I guess nobody feels very good about that. It isn't as if I hadn't tried. But every time they start to examine me, I... I, I and then... I know. The spots. spots. Well, maybe some other time, Trudy. I'd be glad to, Norval. Good night, Trudy. Hey, you forgot your needles. Oh, it really doesn't matter. I haven't got a phonograph anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 